It's getting brighter, I've been up all night You've been my world, I'm done to have light Getting closer, it's harder than I Жанна, and welcome to my channel. Come on in, have a seat, have some tea. I don't have any cup to sip from. This is another vlog. I'm vlogging a lot right now. I don't know why, but we're going right now to New York City to babysit my friend's kitten and to just hang out and walk around. There's gonna be some amazing things happening because I am attending the Refi Project new faces casting or just like a launch party. I don't know what that is, but they say to show up with your almost like bare face, minimal makeup. They wanna see everybody, all races, sexes, nationalities, skin colors, whatever for their new project. So I'm super excited. I got a ticket and we're gonna to see together how it looks like. And now we go to the airport and check out my fit. First of all, this is a fantastic two piece set that Jackie Ina put me on. It looks amazing. And then look at that beauty. I'm gonna talk about it later in another video because I sold yet again one of the designer bags that I just bought and I told you I will never sell. I will stop saying this. So I sold it and now I got this little baby girl that I think is just incredible. So just like that, we're traveling to New York. Let's go. No, look at that set. You just look at that set. I purchased it in brown and in dark blue. Look, and look how that fits. Incredible, incredible. These are the Desi sunglasses, by the way. So, we out. It's a cool outfit and all, but in reality, I have to have these two jackets because it's colder and raining in New York. I have to have my laptop and yeah, we're all covered in jackets. And then the usual with all American Airlines happened. We were delayed for a couple of hours and then they said that they found a dent at a plane. So we deboarded, then boarded back again and they said that it was not a dent, just the light shined that way. So they felt that it was it, but it was really not. Made it two hours later than we're supposed to, but we out here. Good morning, this is the next day and the weather is not pleasant. It's like nine, that feels like six and it's raining. Again, of course, whenever I come in, it rains. <laughs> so we're trying to get some breakfast put on something warmer than this and just try to hang out before some of my work meetings. The usual wrong train was taken. York is always fine, but it's just very unpleasant to be fighting with the wind and the umbrella breaking itself and I'm all wet already, pause on that. <laughs> so yeah, today's not the day y'all, today's not the day.
hi today is the second full day that we're about to spend in new york and today we have a couple of interesting things to do i'm gonna go to to the la durée cherry blossom brunch so i'm taking you with me and then maybe in the nighttime we go to the rooftop to see the beautiful skyline from brooklyn so today there's actually a couple of things to do outfit of the day today is the same as it was yesterday underneath but we have the new jacket and the cool sunglasses we're ready to go i hope i'm not cold Day three has arrived. Today, what we do is brunching. We're watching Lion King on Broadway today together. And then by accident, my friends from Spain and Barcelona when I was working just happened to be in the city. So we're doing dinner together. So nothing extraordinary, but still super fun day. Let's go. Today's look of the day is this with a bolo tie. And denim on, denim on, denim on, denim. Representing Cowboy Carter today. It is still 12 degrees, so I can't say that it's like incredibly warm, but it's way better than all the days before. You can start to see the blue skies kind of, so today is gonna be the day. I added a little something to the denim so it adds to the theater so we're not like very casual at least we're having some crystals right here <laughs>
my seats. I just got this one. Look at this. Wow. The use of cameras, video, or recording devices is strictly prohibited. We would also like to extend an extra special welcome to audience members attending their first Broadway show. First part just finished and to say that uh, I'm blown away is to say nothing. Broadway musicals to me are like Beyonce. Every time I think they can't undo themselves, they um, outdo themselves. And this they say is an experience of a lifetime just to see it and that's true because the production is just out of this world, how all of the animals look like and how they decided to creatively not make like makeup and stuff just to have masks on top but they are all in costumes and in makeup but not to like resemble the animals themselves you know what i mean but just to have masks and some other props so it's just the way it works mechanically is insane how is how are they doing it i'm tearing up constantly it's just out of this world experience for sure to see it if you can go see it and also the way I'm constantly thinking about Beyonce because Black is King and the amount of references to, I don't want to say to Beyonce, it's the other way around. Now, the amount of references, musical instruments, creative choices, melodies, drums that I understand thanks to Black is King and to Beyonce is just incredible. I hear the specific sounds that were in the movie so that I can recognize. 10 out of 10, my friends, 10 out of 10. Quick outfit change for the dinner with the girls. I just bought this t-shirt, so we're gonna have a leather jacket on and we're good. Ready to see my girls. So today's Sunday, the day when we go to the refi casting situation and also to learn about their new project and their new product. And yesterday I just wanted to see how it looks like, what the line is, how early should I come in. And it was not that busy. Like, yes, there's a line, but it's not coming around the block or something like that. It's just just a good amount of people. And they said, if you just come 10 minutes before the opening, you're gonna be done in like an hour or something. So we're gonna be there earlier, do our thing. Wish me luck and who knows? They say they need different faces of different shapes, sizes, uh, nationalities, race, whatever. So the more diversity, the better. So who knows? Maybe we can get it. So this is the look of the day for Refi. I have their sleeveless shirt. It's just regular jeans. I have their earrings. I also have a hair crab of their doing so let's see i'm barefaced i only have foundation and brows on so i think we're doing good i think we're looking good let's go try the weather is stunning it's cold like plus five but stunning fantastic weather <gasps> today's gonna be incredible i'm 30 minutes earlier oh special effects <laughs> I'm 30 minutes early and I kind of feel like I'm going to be the first one. What? <laughs> There's like nobody. That's good. I'm going to be the first one then. Oh, no. There's somebody standing. It's getting brighter. I've been up all night. You've been my world. I'm done that light. Getting you closer. It's harder than I
that I feel so beautiful and so empowered and how important initiatives like these are to our confidence and how like the beauty industry sees us that you can come as yourself and you feel so beautiful cheers to you Jess cheers to Refi great job Okay, so as soon as I exited the refi project, I started to film something and then I figured out that it just didn't record. So I'm gonna do it again right now. Maybe. <laughs> Cat, can we? Okay, so the project was incredible. And in essence, what that is, they're launching their new concealer that drops May 2nd. And they were looking for some fresh new faces in order to promote it. So they took our pictures and we will see whether they will use it in the campaigns itself based on what color of the concealer you are. We may end up on a website and in a campaign. But it was just so empowering and I never knew that this was a casting, right? And I never knew that it can be so welcoming and nice atmosphere. I came in second in line and we were standing in line just chatting with the girls. They were all so incredible, such bright spirits and how we empowered each other and the amount of compliments. So nobody was looking you up and down like this, you know what I mean? It was a lot of good energy and the staff itself was just incredible. They were so welcoming and they were coming from the UK themselves. And they were just so, so beautiful, all in the style of refi and this kind of clean girl aesthetics, the bushy brows and everything. So everything about this was really, really beautiful and how they were communicating with us and also how empowering and complimenting each other they were. I was just blown away. And then when you're about to leave, they print out the little Polaroid picture of you with your shade number that they color matched. They gave you iced coffee and a little goodie bag. In that goodie bag, there is a mirror. And I wanna say it's a regular, but you see how also the packaging of it and how it is, it says refi right here. So it's a really cute little piece to give away. So I'm really happy. I also kept the coffee sleeve to use. <laughs> I know it's just cardboard, but still for memories. And then this is what they give you, your little card. So yeah, I'm super happy that I joined this experience while I was here in New York. And this was not planned for me for this trip, but I just saw that they are doing this in New York in the dates when I'm here. And I'm like, huh, let me go and try this. And also I was doing this for the little me because when I was younger, I was all covered in acne, not even acne that you can imagine. It was like a whole bunch of horrible everywhere, face, chest, back, everything. Everything I tried, nothing worked until with my doctor, we figured out how to, how to cure this and how to kill the, the bitch. And every time I tried to do a casting, I tried to go somewhere, I was so insecure and I was just all so swollen of this acne and like horrible, horrible clusters of them that were underneath. It was just so horrible. And it lasted when I was like from 14 to 25. So I kind of just started living my life when I was 27, when I cured out of it. And I started to live the life with being who I am. Before that, it was just horrors and insecurities, uh, hiding my face behind my hand and photoshopping every single picture. So this was just just a horrible experience for a teenager and a young girl to go through. So 
I always went to all these castings and open calls and stuff, and I received numbers to go in. And then right before going in, I never opened the door and I always turned my back and left. And now I'm like, you know what? Whatever this is, whatever happens, I'm going in, we're doing this. It doesn't matter the result. I'm doing it for this experience because I think it's so, so cool. No regrets. This was so cool to do it. I'm, I'm very happy. So let's see where this uh, ends us with. And tomorrow, maybe I go take a bagel in the morning because being here, I never took a bagel. I think I want one. And then at 12 o'clock noon time, we're flying back to St. Louis. Thank you for being here with me for all of this journey. Thank you for tuning in. And let's just spend my last day here together. It's getting brighter. I've been up all night. You've been my world. I'm done that light. Getting closer. It's harder than I, I ever thought in my life. I know that you need someone around You know you can play